Hello. Okay. This is Mark, formerly from the Cranes. I'm now going to flip the camera like this. Hello there. This is me at home in Norway. I just saw uh, Paul Smith's little video about uh, Clear and how we, me and Jim, put together Clear in the studio with wheel rims and stuff. And afterwards, he asked me to, like, what Crane's equipment I still had. And maybe I should get it out on video. So I thought maybe I would do that today. So uh, first things first though, I have to go and let the chickens out. So you can come and do that thing with me. I'll flip the camera back again. Now, there's Sirius dying to get out. Come on then, you guys, out you come. Hello, hello, this is Sirius here. Hello, come on then. All right, see you in a bit when I've fed them and cleaned them. Okay, my chickens are now fed and cleaned, so we can go down to the studio. So yeah, I have a little walk, because my studio is underground, under my house. So um, I know that I don't have a lot of equipment left from the cranes. Yeah, because it was kind of owned by the company Crane, so I left most of it. But the bits of it that were mine, which I think I have, but I'm not quite sure where they are, is a guitar that was originally played on Star Blood a lot until it was kind of too damaged to do anything else. And the original Roland GP16 multi up packs. And that's the interesting part because. Okay, I just suddenly realised to unlock my studio, which is this over here, I need to turn the alarm off, which is on an app. So, one second. Okay, I've done that. So, I will just uh, let myself in. Are we on wide angle still? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so the interesting thing is the GP16. You know what? Let's turn around so you can see. This is my workshop uh, some people know I might, I'm making animation films and things now in fact I think we will just grab this tripod that might come in handy and then into the cave right and then lights okay so, let's have a look. Um, first things first, the guitars. That's probably the easiest because I'm 90% sure it's right here. So these are all the shitty guitars I've got. I don't have a, really any terribly great guitars. This one. This is the original Crohn's Starblog guitar, which was a Weston Spectrum LX, which was famous for its very fancy um, wiring, which <clears throat> makes no sense at all because all the pickups are gone. All the wiring is still there, as you can see. It's there, but uh, yeah, the pickups have been gouged out at some point or other. And the only way this works now is because it has a hexaphonic um, guitar synth pickup on it. But I have that humbucker there i don't know if that's plugged in but we'll find out there's certainly no output jack anymore but maybe i should fix it okay that's part one of the journey the next thing is oh, i need another guitar stand you know what i'll just plonk that somewhere back up here actually then i will the other the gp16 in probably is it here uh, no. Okay, that's the rack of unused equipment. So where the hell is it then? Strange. Uh, is it in a box? I have kind of a large amount of stuff in boxes. This is uh, the guitar synth I was talking about that I use a lot actually. Um, okay, 
Let me see, is there anything over here? Aha, yes. Here's another rack of unused equipment. And there it is. So, here's some interesting trivia. After the Cure Tour, I was determined that the money we got as a bonus from the Cure did not go on just beer and rent. So I went straight out and bought this S1000 sampler, which is completely what I used to record the, all of the eardrum stuff, which was the electronic band I had with Steve Austin. Okay, so there's the GP16. So I think we'll have to pull it out. Um, it's lucky it's at the top. This is the classic uh, cheap man's rack, which is, you know, the IKEA TV table. It's a bit dusty. A bit hard to do with one hand. As you can see, it's super long. And there's the plug, Norwegian plug. So you can see it's been used at some point. So where am I gonna put it? I think I'm gonna have to spend a few moments off camera just tidying up and I can, we can play it, stick it up on here on top of the stuff I still do use, which maybe is another video. Okay, <coughs> um, I have discovered in the moments uh, between the last cut is that actually uh, something has gone wrong with the, the main uh, switch disappeared. Maybe it's just fallen out, or maybe... So I still, still don't know if it's going to work. So I'll just put the iPhone on like medium view so we can see, and then I will go around the back and plug this in. And you guys will see whether or not it works before I do. Hopefully the button is already pressed in. There it is, please wait. Super, and there is a patch. I don't know if you can read that, let's zoom in. Um, like that, it says clean. Now, I wonder whether I can remember how to change patches. So, two, phase, wibbly, boxes, revelation seven. These are not crane songs. So, um, bank, bank, two, still things not cranes related. Fuse, there we go, straight away. Ha ha, patch. God, I wonder whether I've deleted banks one and two. Maybe they had cranes things in. But look, on the bank number 31, EG Shining. EG Shining, so that's probably the reverb patch and the noise patch, because there's this scrapey, you know, I'm a bit interested in playing guitar the wrong way. And this was, I, I, think, I think this was just uh, what I call a whammy bar wobble to create, and then lots of reverb. Distortion. Oh, there's three patches on EG signing. That's weird, I wonder what that is. Leaves of summer, probably. It's just, uh, some, most of the distortion is pretty much the same, I think. Just different volumes, depending on the songs. Wish. Fuse. Two fuses. Three, four. Cha-cha. That's Wish, isn't it? Cha-cha Escueto. It's not, oh no, that's not. It's, it's off the Wish thing, yeah, okay. Uh, Dada, three, three, one. Fuse Screech, ha? Huh? So I have fuse, where's the other? Okay, I don't know why there's fuse screech there. Maybe there was only one patch. Focus breathe, and that's a reverb patch and then a noise patch. Star blood, there it is. And blank on eight, I don't know what that was. 48, 50, noise. Old song, yeah, there's probably some very famous Crane song that we never hadn't named yet. Oh no, old song, okay, maybe not. Noisiest, slapback sample on hold. Yeah, I remember that patch actually. Slap, I don't know. Okay, this just seems to be names of sounds now, so I think we maybe have left 
Oh, that's the same ones again. Six, Cutterfly, Monsoon, Cutterfly, Cutterfly, Old Song again, Venus and Furs. This is stuff that I did with Eardrum, Unclean. I was probably trying to sound like my first band, which is Uncle Ian. Seven, Droning, Cleanish. This is all after, I think. Anyway, the next thing is, I guess, so that we should plug it in. But I'm going to do a sensible thing first, and that is uh, back it up. Okay, that took some, a little bit of fiddling. Um, I actually haven't used uh, MIDI from this thing for a long time, and I have to uh, figure out how to get six pin MIDI. And, uh, but then I discovered something that I didn't know before. Okay, so I normally use this Axiom keyboard, and that's normally plugged into uh, my uh, computer via USB cable, of course. And then, so I th wondered, can it act actually as a MIDI um, interface? And it can. So basically, this is the nerdy part. GP16 has at the back, a MIDI out, we plug a cable into that, we follow that like this, follow that, over to there, and it goes into the back of the Axiom, and then that, it goes into my computer. And this is where we use this little program, which is called SysX Librarian. And you can see that my, um, this is the name of the, uh, of the keyboard. So, um, what do we do here? Okay, I think we have to look over here, first of all. So then, I'm getting a horrible reflection, sorry about that. Okay, maybe like this is good. So then we go into, I think, uh, we're probably system, receive channel, no, transmit channel, only control, so I don't know what that is. Bump, bump, there we go. Bulk dump. We have to make sure that we don't do bulk copy mode. And then if I remember rightly, just use this little thing. Oh, this seems a bit stiff. Oh no, is that gunked? Oh no, here we go. Bank. Yeah, so this is if you want to check if you want to save one patch number, bank, you want to save a whole bank, group, I don't know what group is. All. I think we want all, don't we? Okay, and then it says push system. Push right, saving. Oh, but I haven't, okay. That was pointless. Um, saving complete, but it won't have saved anything because I didn't remember to record over here. Okay, so let's do this again. So here, you just have to press record one, and now it's waiting for a sysx message, perfect. Okay, so then we're here again, bunk, bunk, dump. Let's reset itself. We want to put it onto, no, dump. Yeah, that's right. To all. And then, what does it say? System, system, right, saving. Oh, let's go and look over here. Yeah, and there we have an entry, which is, rather boringly called Untitled Sussex, and it is um, 127 bytes. Can that be? This is getting very, very nerdy. It didn't, wasn't supposed to be this at all. Okay, what I have discovered is that 127 bytes is some sort of maximum amount that can be saved with Sussex. So what I'm s s guessing is if I press this record many button instead, it will then record everything it needs uh, in multiple. Okay, system, here we go again. All data dump, press right. So this does take a little bit of time. Saving. Completed, let's see what we have over here. Total 128 messages. Done. Huh? Ah, 15K. 
That to me seems more likely. I think we just have to assume that that's okay. Good, I'll just save this and then come back to the video. Okay, now comes the fun part where we're going to plug it in, see what it sounds like. So it's gonna be a bit different to normal because we never really used amps before, uh, except when we rented ones or touring or something. So we never got the sound off the amps. Um, nowadays, I do almost the same thing because I use bass amps instead of guitar amps and everything I do, I get through guitar effects and rap stuff. Um, so what we'll do is that uh, this is the end of my... Okay, something happened. Um, so these are the output from my pedal board and we're gonna try and plug it in over here. If we can. Right. Um, so outputs are. Oh, yeah, it had two sets of. That's what it meant by groups, maybe. Okay. A, channel one and channel two. Let's go with channel one, I suppose. And then. Ooh. Hear that? That is the sound of power supply capacitors after time. Horrible. Okay, that's a shame, but kind of understandable. No, no knobs not crackling. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, obviously, we will try and plug in the Starblood guitar a bit later, but for simplicity now, you know what? I'm just going to put this up onto the tripod. Okay, that's on the tripod now. I don't need this MIDI cable anymore. So, for simplicity, I'm just plug in a guitar that I know works, which is this telly. Uh, doesn't sound like a telly, though. I hate tellies, but this is a sort of semi-acoustic telly with these, uh, what are they called, P45s. Right, here we go. Oh, we should put it on the paint patch. Where did we find that? Bank three. Iggy Shining. Uh, oh, I haven't got the... Just Iggy Shining second patch along. Let's see what that is like. probably be in drop D but um there we go easy shining how does that go perfect it sounds exactly as it did it's even much more distorted than I remember okay three so this will be the reverb thing That's weird. So uh, it was stereo delay actually. It was very cool. Let me see. So it was probably. Okay, fuse. Um... Where was that? No. 
I'm talking Norwegian, right? Okay. This one? It must be this one. If you screech, it was this. What? I've got blunt. I think I must have used heavier strings before because these are really soft around and they don't do punk scrapes anymore. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Um, let's go on to group bank four. Obviously loud. Um, let's just see. I guess we can fake it with a box. So it's, I can hear that there's lots and lots of noise going on there. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. All I can say is it's so lucky that I live in the forest because. Uh, that was insanely loud. Did I really have it up so loud? Crazy. Stupid young kid. Okay, so that, that was that experiment. I hope that was fun. Next thing will be to plug in the Starblood guitar and see if that works. Okay. So I uh, have fixed it now. And all I've done is, uh, I had to test it this time. It was getting too amateur, this film. So, um, so I had to make a blank patch on the, uh, on the synth, so this is not coming out of the tuner output, because that comes from this pickup, which is disconnected. So this comes, this is actually a V guitar patch, which it's not strictly true, right, but still, it sounds good. <laughs> To uh, for the EG Shining. So this is the original, and it's in tune. This guitar caused so much problems for uh, my um, test, like for example, Paul. He actually, I don't know if he actually used this guitar, but the tackle I had before Paul, who was Andy Matthews, is that his name? Um, sorry, Andy, it's not.
watching.